Okay, here is um, every resolution option out of the um, the GoPro Hero 4 Black, which is the uh, the latest and greatest um, GoPro. Uh, so first of all, let me just uh, show you um, four seconds of each one of these shots, uh, and then I'll explain a couple of conclusions I came to. Okay, so um, my conclusions from this uh, quick test. Um, firstly, I need optimum resolutions for um, experience type stuff in terms of action sports, mountain biking, kite surfing, that kind of thing, where you, you're generally wearing the camera often. Uh, and secondly, I use my, my GoPro on my Phantom 2 for aerial stuff. So I want the, the optimum resolution for, for that as well. Um, and what conclusions I've come to is that for action stuff, um, I think the 2.7K... Uh, super view is probably going to be my best option. Uh, now the 4K super view only allows you to have 24 FPS and I tend to work in 25 frames per second for most of my stuff so that's that kind of discounted. Um, so the 2.7K super view is the next best sort of highest resolution one for me uh, and what the super view gives you is because it's kind of keeping the center of shot uh, regular and then what it's doing is taking the, the, the whole image for the whole sensor uh, and then stretching out the, the left and right of shot, uh, basically. So it's distorted, but it's also giving you maximum um, viewing angle in terms of left and right and up and down. Um, so that would, that would really help with the illusion of speed. So if you're, if you're moving forward through space on a bike or what have you, um, the, the, Im the, the detail to the left and right, you, you know, your periphery is going to be moving faster than what's in the center of shot. Um, so that's going to be great for conveying speed. Um, it's not so good if you're, say, if you're t panning the camera from left to right, right or right to left um, across, you know, a nice landscape. It's not going to be any good for that because it's going to be distorting the image. The the image is going to be going fast, slow, fast as it goes through that stretching process that the camera is doing. Um, so yeah, that's my solution for action is two point seven K super view. Now for the uh, the aerial stuff. Uh, what I've determined is that um, one of the issues that you have with aerial stuff with the GoPro is you get a lot of uh, fishbowl distortion. So you get kind of a, very, a big bent hill rather than a straight line uh, for your horizon line, um, which obviously when you're up in the air, that shows up quite a lot. Um, and what solution I've come come up to, or rather what, uh, what decision I've come to, is the 2.7K um, 4x3 aspect ratio is probably going to be my best bet for aerial stuff. Um, because what I can do is I can train the camera to be looking dead at the horizon, get the camera a little bit lower, um, and then what's down in, in the bottom of that shot that you, you're still going to be looking down a fair amount. So if you're looking at a surfer or a building or something on the ground, it's still probably going to be in shot as long as you're sort of back for, far enough away from it. And then what I can then do is drop that uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio into a 16 by 9 1080 workspace, crop out the unwanted uh, sky at the top of shot. Uh, so the horizon line is going to be towards the top of the image in the 16 by 9 1080 workspace. Um, but it's going to leave me with a nice straight horizon line. Uh, and also, also a lot of option in terms of, you know, I can pan the camera up and pan the camera down in post, as it were, and choose whether I want to see more sky or more ground uh, or what, or whatever, really. So, yeah, that's my solution. Is two point seven k four by three for um, for you know aerial work on a quadcopter, and then the two point seven k super view for action sports stuff. So for kite surfing and skiing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I hope that was um, useful. I shall leave it there.